الله عز وجل he said لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم the greatest gift of remaining grateful to Allah سبحانه وتعالى is that the more gratitude you show Allah the more and more he gives you what does he give you Allah أعلم he gives you an abundant amount of things because Allah عز وجل did not say in this ayah what he will increase you in he just conditioned he said if you continue to show gratitude to Allah Allah will continue to increase you increase you in wealth in health in mercy in blessing in children if you wanted that in whatever in iman in memorizing quran he'll increase you in understanding he'll increase you in comprehension he'll increase you in everything you can think of of his blessings subhanahu wa ta'ala لَإِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ He'll increase the barakah in your house. He'll increase the barakah in your food. The barakah in the clothing. The barakah in what you drink. The barakah in your wife. The barakah in your children. All this will increase. If you continuously may remain grateful to Allah. And you can do that, my brothers and sisters in Islam. You can do that. Just remind yourself, this is our duty on earth. Allahu Akbar. These are, there's only two paths. Allah Azza wa Jalla, He said, إِنَّا إِمَّا شَاكِرًا وَإِمَّا كَفُورًا Allah Azza wa Jal guided us. People can either be shakiran, grateful to Allah, or kafuran, ungrateful to Allah. The choice is yours. Which one are you going to choose for yourself? Be wise, be smart, and be shakira. Be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahi, you are going to see the reward of being grateful to Allah in this life. Before the hereafter. Wallah. Try it. Sit down. Engage in hamd of Allah Azza wa Jal. Say alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Allahumma laka alhamd. Rabbana laka alhamdu hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fih. Allahumma laka alhamdu hatta tarda. Wa laka alhamdu idha radit. Wa laka alhamdu ba'da rida. Engage in the many forms of hamd we know. And don't suffice with that. Because praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only by the tongue. You don't thank Allah azza wa jal only by the tongue. You thank Allah azza wa jal also with your heart by acknowledging the blessing. And then you thank Allah with your limbs. Get up after that. Pray to rak'at. Fast tomorrow as a form of gratitude to Allah azza wa jal. It's permissible. Fast in the intention of being grateful to Allah. For everything he's given you, you know, it's allowed. Uh, even if Allah Azza wa Jal saved you from harm, you can fast, you can worship Allah Azza wa Jal as a thank you, as a form of gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal. Didn't this happen with uh, Musa alayhi salam? When Musa alayhi salam was saved from Fir'aun, Fir'aun drowned, he buried, and Allah saved Musa and Bani Israel. What did Musa do? He fasted Ashura. Why did he fast Ashura? Out of gratitude to Allah that he saved him from trouble. He saved him from harm. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, we're going to fast the day of Ashura. So you're allowed to fast and you're allowed to worship Allah azza wa jal if Allah has saved you from evil and saved you from harm. This is a means of being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And pray your prayers on time. As we said, that is the highest form of gratitude. I don't want to take longer than this. Jazakum Allahu khayran, my brothers and sisters in Islam. At the end, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us min ibadillahi shakirin. I ask Allah azza wa jal that he make us from his grateful slaves. And I ask Allah azza wa jal that he give us the ability to continuously thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through our heart, through our tongue, and through our limbs.